in this video i will solve one problem on laplace transform obtain laplace transform of the square wave shown below this is the given periodic square wave we need to find laplace transform of this so this is the given square wave it is periodic that is here f of t is periodic so while calculating the laplace transform of the periodic signal first we need to consider only one cycle of the periodic signal here from here to here this is called one cycle of the signal first we need to find the one cycle of the laplace transform of one cycle of the signal then we need to find the laplace transform of this entire signal here let me consider f1 of t is one cycle of this f of t f1 of t is that is one cycle of f of t let me draw f1 of t so here i can say only one cycle of f of t that is nothing but it looks like this this is let me consider this as f1 of t here magnitude of this is plus 1 here it will be minus 1 and this is 2 and this is 4 that is i have taken one cycle of this f of t which is nothing but f1 of t so now we need to find the laplace transform of this f1 of t so here in f1 of t we can observe that at t equal to 0 there exists one step signal so i will try to split this signal so let me consider the first signal as fa of t which is nothing but a step signal let me call it as fa of t the first signal is step signal that is this is the step signal this is the step signal which looks like this the magnitude of this is 1 so now i can write fa of t is equal to magnitude is 1 so it is u of t so now here we can observe that this signal exists in between 0 to 2 so this step signal should reach 2 should reach 0 at t equal to 2 it means this signal should come to 0 at t equal to 2 so i should add one more step signal at t equal to 2 of magnitude minus 2 let me call it as fb of t that is here i will call it as fb of t so fb of t should be a step signal that is a negative step signal whose magnitude is minus 2 at t equal to 2 that is let this is 0 and this is 2 at t equal to 2 i should add one negative step signal whose magnitude is minus 2 here we need minus 2 because at t equal to 2 this this signal should become 0 when we add at t equal to 2 this signal with this signal that is here at t equal to 2 magnitude is 1 at t equal to 2 magnitude is minus 2 that is 1 minus 2 it will become minus 1 so it should be the magnitude of this should be minus 2 so i can write here fb of t can be written as minus 2 so it is shifted step signal shifted by unit 2 that is u of t minus 2 so let me show now for understanding purpose that is if i add fa of t with fb of t let me show here for understanding purpose say this is fa of t plus fb of t here at t equal to 1 signal comes like this at t equal to 2 here at t equal to 2 magnitude is 1 that is 1 plus at t equal to 2 magnitude is minus 2 that is minus 2 its value become minus 1 so it will be 1 to 0 0 to minus 1 so the signal will looks like this that is when we add fa of t with fb of t the resulting signal is like this which is similar to this signal now here we can observe that at t equal to 4 this signal should become 0 that is at t equal to 4 this signal is continuing till infinity it should become 0 it should reach here so to reach here i should add one more step signal at t equal to 4 having magnitude 
plus one. So let me add one more step signal. Let that be fc of t. That is, let this be fc of t. So here this is zero, this is two, this is four. So at t equal to four, I should add one step signal of magnitude plus one. Here it is. Here it is plus one because here we can observe that. At t equal to four, this issue, this signal should become zero. So to make it zero, I should add with plus one. So it is plus one with minus one, it will become zero. So the remaining signal will looks like this. So this will be the resultant signal after adding a, b, and c, which is same as this one. So I can write f c of t is equal to this is positive step signal shifted by unit four. That is u of t minus 4 so this is the sum of these three is nothing but f1 of t therefore i can write f1 of t is equal to fa of t plus fb of t plus fc of t that is f1 of t is equal to we have fa of t is u of t minus we can here we can observe f fb of t is nothing but minus 2 u of t minus 2 minus 2 u of t minus 2 plus here we have fc of t is u of t minus 4 that is u of t minus 4 so this is the f1 of t so now we are supposed to find the laplace transform of f1 of t that is apply Laplace transform. So we can get Laplace transform of f1 of t is f1 of s is equal to Laplace transform of u of t is 1 over s. Laplace transform of u of t minus a, t minus 2. We know that Laplace transform of t minus a is equal to 1 over s e power minus a s. Therefore, the Laplace transform of this is minus 2 1 upon yes e power here it is a but here it is 2 that is e power minus 2s plus the laplace transform of this will be 1 over s e power minus 4s so this is the laplace transform of one cycle of f of t now let's see how to calculate laplace transform of the entire signal that is therefore the Laplace transform of that is Laplace transform of given f of t is equal to the formula is 1 upon 1 minus e power minus t s f1 of s. This is the formula used to calculate Laplace transform of entire signal. It is applicable for periodic signal. So here f of t is periodic signal. So therefore now I can write Laplace transform of f of t is that is Laplace transform of f of t is equal to f of s is equal to here t is nothing but period of the signal that is t is equal to here we can observe that the period of the signal that is the period of one cycle that is here 0 to 4. So 4 is the period of one cycle. So therefore t is equal to 4. So therefore the Laplace transform of the entire signal is 1 upon 1 minus e power minus 4s into f1 of s. f1 of s is nothing but 1 by s minus 2 by s e power minus 2s plus 1 by s e power minus 4s. So this is the Laplace transform of given signal that is given periodic signal. Thank you for watching.